Hey guys, it's Zach with Blade HQ, and we are here at SHOT Show 2018, and we are at the Benchmade booth with Derek. And uh, he's got some rad stuff on the table, so educate us. Hell, heck yeah. <laughs> so it is SHOT Show 2018. This is where we show the, our new products um, for the first time, right? Yeah. So let's start off with gold class. Let's go big. Yeah. So we have the 698-181. So this is our unlimited gold that we're going to produce throughout the whole entire year of 2018. Um, as you're familiar with, we just take basically a standard inline product and just go to town on it, bling it out. Um, we'll start with the handles. This is a pearl carbon fiber, so not your typical carbon fiber where you see like the checkering. You got more of the pearling in there. And then we, of course, added mother of pearl inlay, just kind of complete that whole kind of aesthetic there. Damaged steel blade, and then just anodized hardware, which helped kind of give it a little pop. But. Um, not sure how well that the the mother pearl translates onto onto the camera, but in real life it is it's cool looking, especially it is. as it, you hit the different lights. It is really cool. I'm actually not a big mother of pearl guy, but I actually really like the way this look, and I think it's because of the way the 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 pearl carbon fiber blends in with it. Yes. I think that's what what adds to it. It just it looks sharp. It's just a it's a really nice it's a nice collector's knife. Yeah, right? it really and, is. Uh, you know, for those who every day carry this. Kudos to yeah, you. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> it is, it is uh, going to be MSRP at $800 this right. year. So let's move into the gold class, something a little more practical and a little everyday. Yeah. Um, we, of course, have launched this guy for the new year of 2018. This is the 495 Vector. So what it is is a axis spring assist flipper. I just hit the table on that one, so I'll do it again. But it's a really smooth mechanism. You have an axis... Uh, assist flipper right here. So as people remember, we did the 490 a couple years back. Uh, now we got this guy, which is a lot bigger. Um, cool kind of blade profile, in my opinion. It's the basically the dual bevel. Yeah. A symmetrical almost. Um, actually, it is symmetrical. G10 handles, uh, axis lock. But the cool, cool function on this guy is this new locking mechanism. So off. For a lot of our locks, any of our springs just come with a lock, and most of them, uh, when you lock it, when it's open, your access bar is basically locked in place and you can't close your knife. With this model, the 495, you can actually still actuate the access bar when it's the lock is engaged. The whole point of this is you're able to close it if you accidentally actuate it, but at this point, once it's still engaged, you can't reopen it until you disengage the lock. Yeah, I really like that design. I think it's really neat because I, sometimes if you're using your knife, especially with where this is placed, I could definitely see, like, you know, just you're, you're here and you're accidentally you lock it, and uh, I think it's great that you're able to close it then. And then on top of all of that, if you did that and didn't realize it, you're probably in a hurry, yeah. right? So now the, the knife's locked, yep. right? And you don't have to worry about it opening You don't have pocket. to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's super awesome. All right, let's slide into Hunt series where we have some new folders too. Um, this guy is more of an yeah, it's not an update. It's definitely a twist on a an old classic. So when we launched the Hunt, Hunt series about four years ago, we came out of the Grizzly Creek, which has been a huge hit for us. Totally. This is the Grizzly Ridge that we're introducing in 2018, which has the DNA of the Grizzly Creek, but a couple different changes on it. Uh, one, there is no hook on this. There's no gut hook on this. Uh, we did replace the wood handles with a VersaFlex handle, so it's that... Um, rubberized material that you feel like on the Mini Freak or the Boost, but very grippy, um, anodized hardware to give it a little more pop, and of course, the same blade profile as you've seen on the Grizzly Creek, but the, the VersaFlex actually helps in a lot of ways. In addition to just comfort, it also helps uh, with retention in your pocket. Awesome. So, because it's rubbery, it's gonna stick in there a little better. Right, so if you catch a branch, or if you just, in an awkward situation, your knife's not slipping out of your pocket. Exactly, cool. and that's a very common thing. Your, your, your pocket could get snagged on something, For your sure. knife gets yanked yeah, out. Especially if you're out hunting in the bush, you know? Yep. Yep, awesome. So, uh, onto the black class in terms of folders that are brand new, um, the triage, now, not really an update, but more of a, uh, a new model. So this is the 917. We So with the original triage, we went a little overkill. I just shouldn't say a little, but we went really deliberate about the not puncturing and not be able to For poke sure, yeah. That's the sheep's foot blade, and then of course the rescue. Which is a real concern in, in certain occupations, right? Exactly, yeah. if you're an EMT or addressing exactly. a trauma, that's the last thing you want to do. This person's yeah. already hurt and injured. You exactly. don't need to cause more trauma. Uh, but this one is definitely geared more towards law enforcement guys who are looking for more of a traditional drop point blade, which we did that. We gave a drop point blade and changed up the steel to S30V. So awesome. you got better edge retention on this than the N680. Awesome. Um, same hook. And a nice little addition to it, we've changed the handle profile, which is very awesome. So you 
an original triage, you had the Peel Ply G10, which is very grippy. Uh, but however, because of its kind of just blocky shape, uh, the carbide on the knife, on this knife, was harder to, I shouldn't say harder, but if you didn't strike exactly square on the carbide, you had to be a lot more window, precise. You had sure. to be a lot more precise. Yeah. With this, because of all the chamfering we added to the handles, uh, if you're off by a little bit, like an angle like that, or this, and striking the window, it'll still be able to break through the window. Cool. Yeah, that's super great. And still has a seatbelt cutter and all seat that Seatbelt cutter, well. yeah. all those things that you're used to in the triage and update, uh, upgraded steel, in my opinion. Awesome. Yeah, no, I think so. Uh, also new is the 417 Fact in our black class. So you have aluminum handles, S30V blade, a very, very long S30V blade. Um, but for the most part, it's a very sleek tactical knife. Stick in your pocket, doesn't actually take up a lot of room. You know, no, it's for actually sure. the equivalent of almost like one of our bench made pens. Yeah. In terms of real estate that it takes up. And a deep carry pocket clip on that as well. Deep carry so, pocket clip. So it really is designed. Put it in the pocket, kind of forget about it. Yep. Yep. Until you exactly. need it. Until you need it. Exactly. So yeah, that does it for our like brand new folders that um, for 2018. Now on to our fixed blades. I'm gonna just kind of jump straight to the hunt series which we are excited about this 15200 altitude. You guys have probably been seeing a lot of teases yeah, about yeah. it. We've been, we've been having a lot of fun with that, needless to say. Cool. So it comes <laughs> in two variations. Uh, this is the orange Cerakote and then a black DLC coated. Uh, but for the purposes of not holding two knives, I'm just gonna hold the orange one. So both have these carbon fiber bolsters on it, which of course helps you with perch and gives you a little area to grab, especially when you're doing uh, some cuts. But the whole design purpose of this was the backcountry hunter, very weight conscious individual that wants to go pretty deep, get their animal, haul it out, but For you sure. know, want safe space and weight. So um, skeletonized design on this guy with the carbon fiber bolsters. The knife itself weighs 1.67 ounces. Oh, yeah, so yeah, put it in the pack and forget about it type deal. Absolutely, <laughs> and you add the sheath in, which is I think about 0.6 ounces. It's right. less than three ounces total package. So super lightweight, but we use S90V in this guy. So most of the hunt series is usually S30V. 30V, yeah. So S90V is the highest edge retention steel that we are currently using in the Benchmade line. Cool. It is, it is gnarly. And if anyone's ever used a 940-1 or a 490, they can attest to the fact that it holds its edge really well. It, seem, well. it seems like with something with edge retention like this, this is kind of the knife that comes in, and if you've had issues in the past with the replaceable backcountry blades, right, that people do use, yes. this can kind of come in and take the spot of that one. Yeah, yeah. and that's the idea, and that's not to knock on the no, replaceable definitely blades, not. obviously. Yeah. They, have, they have a purpose and a function. For sure. Um, the idea of this was to give you kind of a scalpel-like tool that holds its edge. Yeah. You don't have to worry about replacing any blades on exactly. it. Exactly. And, um, yeah, we love it. So this orange version in particular actually comes with a Kydex sheath in First Light Fusion Camo. So we collaborated with First Light because they're big on protecting uh, public access to public lands, or access to public lands, I For should sure. say. Uh, and as, a con uh, as this collaboration goes, we actually are donating part of the sales of this knife to backcountry hunters and anglers. Great organization all about protecting access to public land. So definitely awesome. go check them out if you get a chance that's to. That's super great. And is that, that's just with the orange one, is that that's correct? That's just with the orange cool, one. Right the on. black one comes with a black Thrawn sheath. Awesome. So let's move on. Of course, still in the hunt series, the Mel Pardue Hunter. This is the 15400 Mel Pardue Hunter. So you got S30V on this blade. So if you look at this knife at first, you think it actually is a bushcrafter knife almost. It's a lot of DNA takes from that. Yeah. You know? um, micarta handles, so very kind of comfy, warm feel. And it's one of those things that's misleading. When I first saw this knife, just basically in a rendered picture, I didn't think it would be that comfortable. It is actually amazingly comfortable. Fits your hand really well, high bevel grind, making a great slicer. Um, comes with actually a leather sheath, which you have over there, Zach. That's just pressure fit. But this is a part of our hunt series, so it's going to be a great skinner. It's going to do a lot of that utility work you need to do, process the animal in the field. But, you know, if you're also looking for a camp knife or a bushcrafting knife, uh, yeah. an alternative to our bushcrafter, which is the, like, the tank yeah. of all bushcrafting knives that we have, uh, this is a good thing to consider. No, that, and that's the thing is, is when I was holding it earlier, it, it really does... It's got great purchase, and on top of that, it really does feel really sturdy in the hand, yes. right? Like, it just feels like a really great knife for any camp use that you can think of, or take it out hunting, whatever you want to use it for, you know? Absolutely. So, yeah, no, that's, it's awesome. I actually really like this, and I love the sheets that you guys do with these lines. They're just, just, just leather, beautiful. Just kind of a classic <laughs> yeah. all-together package, so. Yeah, awesome. All right, moving on to the black class and fixed blades now. 
This is uh, this is one that we're really excited about. This is the 101 follow-up. Get these shoes out of the way. So the 101 follow-up is aimed towards law enforcement military guys. It's a low-profile knife that is not supposed to take up a lot of space. It's got, you know, super thin, in addition to the sheath being very thin. The whole idea was for the system to tuck behind a mag pouch on some guys on a guy's belt. Um, but in addition to that, with a lot of these skeletonized handles, we people prefer to handle wrap them. Um, real quick backtrack, this is S30V. S30V, yeah. Uh, well, and now fast forwarding, back to yep. the handle wrap. Uh, you were showing me this actually has a really cool, and that's why we have the paracord here. Yeah. Um, this actually has a really cool system for getting that wrap done kind of efficiently in, in a neat way. So Benchmade has introduced this cleat system. So this is a cleat, and then at the pommel is two more cleats, two additional cleats. So the whole purpose of this is to basically help start your wrap. Once you take your paracord, which is included with the knife, draw it through this hole and then pull, it actually will capture the end, the burnt end of the, of the paracord. From there, you can basically just start wrapping, make your way up the handle, this is not the best example of a wrap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hopefully no one will just, just rip me online about this, but this is the, at least the idea. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, the hold idea. That. And when you finish it off, basically what you'll be doing is taking the paracord, drawing it through one of the last cleats. You'll have excess paracord left, so you want to cut it off, burn it, and then right. basically anchor it in that pommel anchor cleat. Anchor it in. Cool. But a That's great system awesome. and basically making it a lot easier for somebody to help start a wrap on this handle. For sure. I know any time that I've done a paracord wrap on a knife, on a staff, on anything that I've ever tried to do it on, it's all, it's starting it is always so frustrating for me. Right? <laughs> so you start I pulling this. on it, you pull yeah, tension exactly, on it, it starts unraveling exactly. on Exactly, so I love this. I think this is great. <laughs> awesome. So, and now the other fixed blade in the black class that we we're offering is, of course, the Infidel fixed blade. Um, everything that people see and know, the DNA of the the base of the infidel is in this fixed blade so same blade profile same blood groove that's very iconic to the infidel and then of course it's a double-edged chisel grind blade d2 steel so like the inline infidel it's right. d2 as well uh, aluminum handles with very similar milling and this actually comes with a Voltron sheath that offers a lot of different lash points in addition to that, you also have a retention strap to its pressure fit. Cool. Yeah, I've talked to a couple guys who uh, are have gone to active duty or are going to go to active duty, and they've talked about how much they love the Infidel. They've always had, no, I've never heard anybody actually having the problem, but they've always had the concern. Oh, right. the sand will get in it or something, something, something. And I tell them, like, no, it's bench beam. And, like, it's, it's yeah. solid. But I think this is great because, not one, not only does it kind of put any of those fears you might have to rest, but right. two, Price point wise, this comes in a little bit low. That price correct? point. So yes, uh, yeah. out the front, Infidel, uh, the full size will be like forty five, four ninety five, yeah, depending on what you're looking for. Yeah. This is going to be around two fifty. Awesome. So you can that's own an great. Infidel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? right. Yeah. That's and awesome. that opens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. But yeah, that does it for our fixed blades that we have in 2018 now. We've done some updates too. So last year we came out with a lot of great product. And not a lot of great product. We were more focused last year, but we took took a lot of that focus and brought it in a miniaturized package. So it's essentially the year of the mini, if you will. For sure. So we'll start off with the boost. So the boost came out last year. Uh, we have the mini boost now in the 595. And in my opinion, I don't know if there's we, we've done speed tests in lab. I don't have the data. Right. But it feels fast. feels fast. It's snappy. <laughs> no, it, when, we, when we were messing with everything beforehand, it really did. It felt really snappy. It's a, it's a fun yeah. knife. It's again, it's like for people with smaller hands or people who just want a smaller package to yeah. in the knife, these these are a great options, especially yeah. with the VersaFlex handle. Again, you have that comfort and ergonomics action going on. Yeah, as a lot of our viewers on YouTube know, like I'm definitely more of a smaller knife guy. So when I mm -hmm. saw you guys launch this mini series, I was so stoked. Awesome. <laughs> great. Because I, I, you know, I, I really enjoy Benchmade stuff, and but a lot of stuff just bigger than I want to put in my pocket and so Absolutely. when these minis came out I was just like yes like, yes mini yeah, stuff for exactly me. yeah exactly <laughs> well Lily you know Zach we designed all these for you you know I really appreciate the thought <laughs> <laughs> well we just love Blade HQ like that right <laughs> um, so mini freak of course you have the same VersaFlex handle as you see in the full size freak but just a smaller package and just a lot of utility like it's very much a comfy griptilian almost to me um, so S30V blade, nothing's much changed other than size on that. Yeah. All these updates, it's basically just size. Just that shrinking them down a little bit. So this is a big one that we, a lot of people have been asking for. Mini Crooked River, right? It, might, it slipped out a little bit. That might be coming down the pipe right. last year. And here it is. Here it is. It is <laughs> in real life. 
the minted version of it. Right now, it only comes in the wood variant. Okay. Um, so we got aluminum bolsters, stabilized wood handle, S30V blade, but just a smaller package and just, in my opinion, a really good everyday carry knife. Yeah. Now, also updated in the black class, you have the mini Presidios. We grab both versions here. We, of course, have a auto version and then a uh, manual version. So, same great ergonomics of the full-size one that we came out. This is the Presidio 2, of course. Same great kind of uh, mill pattern on it that does not destroy your pants like the original Presidio did. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just, again, great action knife, really comfortable. And, again, like somebody with me with relatively smaller hands feels really good in your hand. Yeah. And it's not this ominous knife that you have to pull out and cut a zip tie with. Yeah, exactly. Well, and on top of that, I think even smaller hands or larger hands, it also boils down to like pocket real estate, right? Like absolutely. That's one of the reasons. I mean, I don't have giant hands, but that's one of the reasons I prefer a smaller knife. Is right. I don't like to put. I don't like to put a ton of stuff in my pockets. Right. So if when you're I'm carrying, carrying a, a knife, note. Yeah, like, exactly. Like when a I'm, note. Yeah, when I'm carrying a knife and it's taking up all the, all my pocket, I'm like, I can't carry anything else. So yeah, totally. Yep. So very excited about this guy. And then. This has actually been out for a little bit, but we figured we'll show it anyway. It is the 818 Loco. So, the original Loco, big knife. Oh yeah, Huge big knife. knife. It yeah. was eight ounces, and it is an <laughs> awesome, robust knife, and that is what you're No, yeah, for. it is, yeah. But the ergonomics, people love the ergonomics on it. Here's the mini version. It is still pretty robust for the, its size, but at the same time, it's not eight ounces. Totally. And what, steels, what blade steel's on this? We're using S30V this on this S30V guy. on this one too, We're cool. shifting a lot of our steels over to S30V. It's kind of our baseline. Right on. So, That's um, awesome. mini version of the 818 is called the 818 Loco. So awesome. check it out. Great. Well, that's a lot of knives. It that's is a lot, lot of lot knives. to be excited for this right? year. Versus last year, we were very focused. It was 30th anniversary. Totally. This year, we're going big and Love just it. like shotgun everybody with a lot of cool stuff. Love it. No, this is great. This is really cool. A lot of lot of options: fixed folding, whatever you auto, whatever you're into. This is this is great. Um, well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and uh, so one thing that we've been asking everybody sure. here at Shot Show is, what do you got in your pocket? So, uh, currently, because I had to fly here, they issue us a, uh, a carry knife, yeah, but totally. I have the mini Crooked River. At home, I've actually been carrying the Grizzly Ridge. I like this Been knife. digging it? I've been digging it. It stays <laughs> in your pocket, it doesn't slip out, um, and just a great blade. It looks cool. Cool, it yeah, no, yeah, cool. I, I like the accents. It is, it's cool, it's way and cool. And then, of course, I always carry a pen. There you go. Yeah, you gotta have a pen, especially, have especially a pen. shot. You gotta have a pen, jot stuff down. Absolutely. <laughs> great. Um, and then finally, something that we did is we asked social media, we says, hey, what do you guys want to know? Sure. And uh, one actually came up a couple times is it, somebody was asking, ask Benchmade what their favorite knife is. Mm. And so since you're here representing Benchmade, okay. uh, what currently, what's your, your favorite Ooh. Benchmade knife? Currently, um, in terms of everything that's brand new that we launched this year, I am really jazzed, jacked up about the 15200. Okay, cool. One, I just love S9EV. Like, I will advocate for this steel awesome. anytime, awesome. and I will go to A little engineers. bit of a steel nerd. <laughs> I am such a steel nerd. I, you haven't even heard me nerd out on this stuff. <laughs> but s 90 just the edge retention qualities of it, um, and just this whole package of this knife, I dig. It's just, it's cool. good looking. We've gone with a lot more accent pieces to help pop with the knives. And then, you know, I hunt and I will, I'm excited to try to get use this in the field. I didn't get awesome. a chance to test this in the field like some of our other guys yeah, on the yeah. team. I'm just a lowly PR guy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, then the story of this too, the helping uh, the BHA. I think I'm that's really, great. I, I, I love that. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's all we've got from Benchmade today, but that's not all Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our SHOT Show 2018 playlist here on YouTube, and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you're going to be stoked for in this, next com in this uh, upcoming year. Thanks, guys.